The first one um, is promethazin. And as you can see the name, it looked like antipsychotic. Um, you know, and he has a couple of side effects that look like them. So um, it's very important that we, we talk about it. Um, the, 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 the thing I want you to know that most of these uh, anti-emetic as a central acting. So they affect the brain at the same time they affect the, the gut, okay? So that that prevent uh, nausea and vomiting. Most of your um, vomiting center is in your brain. So they go into your brain and centrally acting. Any medication that centrally act always have side effects, drowsiness and other things. So one of the other name for this medication, promethazine, if you never heard about it, it is Phenagen. So this is what we call Phenagen. It's very common medication. People get it for nausea and other things like that. And like I say, it's a central acting. So it acts in the central nervous system. And then you expect certain side effects that should be common. Well, they don't want you to know too much about it except the main side effect. So um, what is it used for? Well, for nausea. If you're having nausea or vomit, especially for people who are undergoing chemotherapy, the biggest side effect of this is extra pyramidal side effect. So this is extra pyramidal side effect. Okay, then extra pyramidal syndrome. Basically, it get into your brain and affects so many things, and we'll, I will explain to you what it means. Uh, it also has some anticholinergic effect. Okay, anticholinergic. Um, very important. You see these side effects. Um, you likely they're going to ask you what you see when you prescribe this medication to people. Um, um, and people who have like liver disease, you should not um, use them. So, what is anticholinergic? You've seen this multiple times, and you see all the medications in Anklers, um a few, most of them, especially will have some like TCA and other medication of anticholinergic. And that means um, they're going to have a high problem, GI problem, bowel problem, bladder problem, right? So they have blood vision, they have um, constipation, and then um, they have urine retention. So you got to educate them whenever you give them Phenagen especially you have to pay attention to this, like very, very important, like um, very, very important um, that you don't, they understand that this is what is going to happen, like anticholinergic effect. And so these are the main side effects of that medication. And so let me talk about the extra pyramidal side effect. Um, I have an acronym. And this EPS syndrome, extrapyramidal side effect, you see it in Parkinson and all um, movement disorder that affect the brain. And it, it, the best way to remember them is I call them ADAPT. And it's almost the name of the channel. So extrapyramidal side effect is A is acute problem. Um, D is dystonia. So they have stochylosis, um, other changes. So the dystonia, they have acute dystonia and they have what we call akitesia. So that's the A, the other A is akitesia. And then the, the P is the Parkinsonism. So Parkinson-like syndrome. So they have the pill rolling, like they look like they have Parkinson disease but like they don't have Parkinson. It's because they're taking this medication. They have shovel, a max face, shoveling, and white gait, and pill rolling of their hand, like all the symptoms that, and lean forward, like uh, somebody who has Parkinson, but they don't have it. And the T is what usually we see, everybody see, is it, studied dyskinesia. And so those are the uh, component of extra pyramidal side effects. So in case they give you a SATA question, these are, they are it, it occur acutely, uh, dystonia, akitesia, paxinism, and tardive dyskinesia. These two, these occur within a short time, like four days, they can take you know, four weeks. And akitesia, I think is four months. It can happen in four months. 
Um, so just know that the component of extra pyramidal side effect is called ADAPT, acute dystonia, akitesia, parkinsonism, and tardic dyskinesia. So what is TD? We all know it's TD. I mean, it's, it's easy to identify. These people, they take the medication and then um, they will be moving their lips. So lips marking, it's marking their lips and licking their lip multiple times. They will be showing their tongue. Um, they can grimace their face, you know. The other thing that they like is they puff their cheek multiple times. And then they'll be chewing without anything in their mouth or blinking on stop. These are all signs and symptoms of tardic dyskinesia. There's a bunch of them. I can't even list them. They'll be blinking. Um, they'll be tapping their foot. Basically, somebody who is restless. Anything that you do when you're restless, you know, it, it, and they will be having tremor. And then the common one that they, they like you to pick in the answer choice is tocolosis. You know, their neck, they turn your neck, it look like their neck is stiff, but it's not stiff. It's just the medication that's doing that. So they, that there's a bunch of information, but I think this is a little bit inclusive. Um, and of course, for promethazines, uh, anticholinergic effect is very important. So you have to know that it causes anticholinergic and an EPS. Okay. How do you treat them? How do you treat this anticholinergic? It's the same thing you learn for Parkinson. So benzodiazepine. Okay. This is anticholinergic. So it's counterintuitive. You have EPS, you take anticholinergic medication. So benz Benztropin, there's Z here. So benztropin is the treatment, treatment for EPS. So treatment for EPS. So you can also use the same medication for Parkinson. The other not the name, I think um, if they ask you, if they write it, I don't think they will write it. I just remember that um, it's cogentin. It's the same thing. If you see it, that's what it means. Cogentin is the same thing as and benztropin is an anticholinergic medication, and you use it to treat extrapyramidal side effects. So, if somebody is taking psychotic medication, antipsychotic, as very common side effect, um, so antipsychotic, do the same thing. That's why this promethazine look like antipsychotic. Psychotic, antipsychotic, also causes extrapyramidal side effects. And you use the same medication. You use the benztropin. The other one, the next one is um, Reglan. I I hate calling it uh, metoclopramide, but that's what your test they may ask you. Metoclopramide, that's the uh, name they will write it. But everybody know it as Reglan. Nobody like to call mention metoclopramide. Everybody call it. Hey, give the patient Reglan. So if you start working on the floor, that's what they will do. They also, it's also an anti-emetic, okay? It's also an anti-emetic, but this is unique. Every, all of them are unique. This one, you can use it for gastroporosis, okay? So somebody have like, um, especially patients who have diabetes, then they have problem with gastric emptying, okay? They cannot empty um, their bowel. No, not the bowel, the, gut, the stomach itself, the slow transit out of the stomach you can use uh, uh, Reglan to improve motility of the bowel. And so we use it, I use it all the time as a colorectal surgeon. I use it for patient to help with after surgery, to help with the bowel function to improve. Okay, so you can use it for um, gastric emptying. Um, because of that, what do you think? Side effect. If you're improving the bowel function, diarrhea. This is what they ate. You have to tell them, diarrhea, you're going to having a lot of diarrhea so they should know about it but it's used for nausea but you end up having diarrhea not because you you eat something it's because of the um motility effect of metoclopramine you have that's classic for that one okay um you have to know that one um the 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 side effect is the same thing like i told you side effects um apart from the diarrhea um is drowsiness, okay? The promethazine, the fenugreek also make you drowsy. So you, you don't drive, you teach the patient not to drive. 
okay? They also cause some dry mouth, headache. And the big one, okay, the big one, we already talked about it, extra pyramidal side effect and TD. So when patients are on this medication, you're watching for this, this serious problem, okay? Extra pyramidal side effect and TD. TD is part of extra pyramidal side effect. And then you treat it with benztropin, um, benztropin. So very, very common medication with similar side effects, straightforward information. You need to know the four days, four of them, and then you'll be golden. Um, I think that's the most important things I want you to do. There's so many things about them, but these are things they like to ask, the side effect, EPS and TD, and the fact that it's caused diarrhea, and the fact that it can be used for gastroparosis, even though it's for nausea, okay? And then this is Zofran. It's another name for it is Zofran. It's Odan. Dancitron, okay? It's the same thing as Zofran. I don't think they will use this word, but it will be Odansitron. It's an anti emetic, like everybody. It causes EPS, but there's something unique about this one. Unique. And I want you to know that. Don't forget it. QT prolongation. Because of that, if you are on uh, you, as a nurse, when you're taking care of the patient, there's a couple of antibiotics that also causes QT prolongation. And so, so sometimes when patient is on this medication, pharmacy will be harassing you to call the doctor that we don't want to prolong the QT, otherwise they will get into, you know, when you have a problem with pro prolonged QT, things that causes prolonged QT um, will lead to classic to sad depontes. Okay, to sad the pontes. This I'm that's I'm just digressing, but right? okay, if it comes to my mind, I gotta tell you guys it's knowledge based, it's very important. Um, ha, um questions they can ask you. So any t prolongation of QT, one of the arrhythmia it causes is tardic A and to sad the pontes. And what is the treatment of tosad? It's magnesium. So give them magnesium. Because of that. Pharmacy will be IV magnesium, will be harassing we the doctors that, hey, you got to take this medication. So even though it's very common, everybody who get admitted to the hospital, when we write orders, they get Zofran. Guess what? It's very common. Everybody takes it. And so the pharmacy will be checking and make sure they don't take in any medication that can interact with Zofran because of its effect on QT prolongation, um, which can lead to TOSAD and you have to treat it with uh, magnesium. Very important information. I'm giving you everything that you need for your ankles and then it, nothing will beat you on that. Okay, um, so unique, even though it costs extra pyramidal, I worry more about Q Q QT prolongation because this one, I just give them benzotropin, you know, Benzotropin. I don't want them to go into tosad, and you know what is tosad? Tosad is a ventricular tachycardia, but it's polymorphic form. It meandering itself. Um, that's how you can recognize it. Check my um, EKG uh, video. You know, um, so it's very important. Tosad is dangerous. Okay. And then finally, scopolamine patch. And uh, you know what they're going to ask you. Well, how do you take care of patch? That's all. Um, there's specific things you have to know. This is a patch, okay? It's not an oral form, no IV. And you put it behind your ear. Specifically, that's the location so that you can ask centrally what it's supposed to do, okay? He has a lot of side effects. He also has anticholinergic. And you know what to expect. Eye problem, you can't give it to patient glaucoma, um, constipation. If the bowel, if they, it, it causes constipation, if they already constipated, they can get it. Um, bladder problem, it causes urinary retention. Um, it's, um, it decreases secretion, so dry mouth, okay? So all these things, dry mouth. This is what I talk about pathophysiology in your exams. Just by saying this, 
I know how I'm going to teach them. I know I, I know that it causes anticholinergic. Therefore, if they give me a subtle question on teaching on this pharmacology, you see how you can connect it. I have a pharmacology. I know the side effect that is an, it has anticholinergic. What teaching would I provide the patient? Well, your eyes is going to dry. I have to make sure you don't have glycoma. We're not going to give it to you. You can use high drops. You're going to get constipated. So take some fiber, drink a lot of water. You know, bladder problem. If you have BPH, I'm not going to give it to you because you go into urinary retention. Dry mouth. Well, chew some gum and take some candy. And that has sugar-free candy. I've done, that is a classic SATA question they can give you for teaching patient who is on um, scopolamine patch. So those are the things that, then the other thing they use in case they ask you is it um, motion sickness, okay? They can use it for motion sickness. It can also be used for uh, nausea, um, patient who is having nausea, that's why it's anti-emetic. So it can be used for motion sickness. So if somebody come and tell you, hey, I'm traveling, I need this, I'm, I can't, when I fly, I get sick or on a ship, then you have to educate them. There's teaching about patch. They need to have it on at least greater than four hours before they leave. They can't put it on in an hour before the flight or to the ship, at least four hours. So six hours, you are safe before they travel. And you got to teach them how to take care of the patch. This patch doesn't stay on for a long time, 72 hours usually, then you have to change this one patch at a time. This is a patch, it's the same thing like you use for nitroglyceride. This is the same thing, I'm going to repeat it in like natural, it become natural for you. One patch at a time. When you take it out, fold it so that no kid take it and lick it or touch it, okay? Um, fold it and when you remove it. If you, if you remove it, wear some gloves, okay? If you are not wearing gloves, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash hands, so that um, you don't take the chemical and put it in your mouth and cause a problem. The reason why we put it in the patch is to allow it to slowly release its content. If you put it in your hand, you put it in your mouth, you get a higher dose of scopolamine patch, guess what? You're going to have high dose of cholinergic effect, anti-cholinergic effect, and you will not like that. And so when you teach the patient, you know the problem and you teach the patient so that this doesn't happen. It's a patch problem. It's the same thing you do for every patch, how you teach them and how to take care of them. Okay? Um, so this is everything about these four medications, very precise and concise information about them specifically. You don't need to know anything about them. Is the scopolamine, the patch, the motion sickness is anticholinergic effect and where you place it. I don't know what kind of question they can ask you about it. it of course, it causes extra, because they are central acting, um, it causes an extra pyramidal side effect and you know benstropin. Just know that all the four of them pay attention to one specific for them. Fen again, um, specifically, uh, for the antipsychotic uh, idea of he has some antipsychotic effect. And so the drowsiness and the EPS, um, the reglan, it causes diarrhea. It's also as the EPS and the uh, tardic, uh, DT on Danistro, the QT prolongation. And this one is a patch. And so you got to teach them specifically how to take care of the patch. Once again, thank you for listening.